Hey, howdy, dude. Oh, hi. Hey, I heard you're a luthier, man. I'm a luthier, yes, that's right. Yeah, just wondering if you can fix my mandolin. Oh, uh, well, I don't repair mandolins. Sorry, that would be probably a guitar maker or something like that. What? But you're a luthier. Yes, I'm a luthier, but I'm a violin maker. Violins? Violin maker? Oh. That's weird. All right. Okay. I guess I'll go to a mandolin maker. Or a guitar maker. All right, see ya. Hey, somebody told me this is the Luthia place. Oh, hello. How are you going? Hey, uh... Can you fix my guitar? Guitars? Yeah, I'm a luthier. What? But I'm not a guitar maker. I'm a violin maker. Oh, so you're a violin maker. Okay, okay. Okay. Yeah, all right. All right. Well, I'll go and find a guitar maker then. Okay, see ya. <sighs> hey, man. Oh, hey. How are you going? I hear you're a luthier. I'm a luthier, yes, that's right. I got a bazooki. That's a type of loot, isn't it? No, I don't do oots. Yeah. No. Can you fix it for me? No, I'm really sorry. Uh, maybe luthier. a guitar maker? I don't you know. Fix loot, so... loot maker? A loot maker? Oh, you're a violin maker. Cool, man. Anyway, good luck. Yeah, yeah bye. Oh, hi! How are you going? Hey, I heard you're a luthier! No, I mean, I'm a violin maker. Can you repair my violin? I really am a violin maker. So you're a luthier? Yes, I'm also a luthier. And a violin maker. Oh, you're a violin maker. Okay, I'll help you out. Oh, yeah. great! Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Ask Olaf the Violin Maker. Today I am going to talk about something interesting. I am just going to talk about the difference between a luthier and a violin maker. Is there a difference? There isn't, is there? Really? Well, actually, there is. It goes back into the history of violin making. Uh, so a long time ago, Around the 16th, 15th century, there were luthiers. That's in English. In French, they were luthiers. Or in German, Geigen und Lautenmacher. Or in Italian, luthiero. So their role was to make stringed musical instruments. And the lute was probably the closest thing to describe all the stringed instruments. So they were called lute makers. Believe it or not, Stradivarius was actually a fabulous lute maker. He, there are some really nice lutes that he's made. There are also some really nice guitars and obviously all the violins, violas and cellos that he made. But once upon a time, the job that I do would have been not just a violin maker. They would have also made lutes, guitars and other stringed instruments and probably some viola de gambas and other instruments. But now it's a lot more specialized, so now it is actually just violin maker. Luthier de violon, which is the lute maker of the violin. And in German, it's just Geigenbauer, which means violin maker. Not to be confused with Geigenbauer, which are makers of gallows. Yes, that's right. When I was a kid, I'm not kidding you. Like some people would ask me, oh, what's your dad do? And I say, ah, oh, my, my, I'd say it in German, my papa is a Geigenbauer, which means my dad's a violin maker, but Geigenbauer and Geigenbauer sounds very similar. And they go, was? Geigenbauer? Like, what? Gallo makers? They still do that? They still make gallows? Now, <laughs> you know, the death penalty hasn't been around for a while in the countries I've lived in. And uh, so <laughs> it was a bit of a surprise to people. But anyway, um, so now a violin maker very clearly defines someone who make, makes violins, violas, cellos, and double basses. 
And some violin makers can also make guitars, lutes and other instruments, but most violin makers these days specialise. It's a big enough job, we have so much to do to make sure that all the stringed instruments in the orchestra get looked after. So now it's just violin maker and uh, if you're asking for a luthier, you might, someone might send you to a guitar maker or a lute maker or something else. So just be careful. So anyway, now you know what the difference between a luthier and a violin maker and a guitar maker is. So make sure you ask for the right thing. And, uh, and I know there are some skilled violin makers that can also make guitars and there are some guitar makers that also make violins. But they are actually quite different instruments and the style of making is very different. In the violin you have a lot of hand carving because you're, you're carving the shape of the body. Um, and there's actually quite a big difference between a guitar maker and a violin maker. Especially the top plate and the back of guitars are flat. Whereas a violin maker will pretty much hand carve the top plate, the back and the side. Um, yeah, the top plate and the back of the instrument. And so it's all fully hand carved using different gouges and little hand planes like this. This is one of my bigger hand plane, tiny hand plane. It's mini me. And also we use different types of chisels and gouges to literally hand carve out everything on the instrument. So here are some of my larger gouges that I use for the early part of cutting out the top plate and the back and, and shaping them properly. I also use scrapers like this. The sides are quite similar to a guitar maker but the top and back are definitely had fully hand carved and also the scroll is very different so it's a lot more carving that a violin maker does to what a guitar maker does. But also there's a big difference in the way the instrument is set up in the end. Also violin has a sound post uh, here and the bass bar whereas the guitar has a number of bars and no sound post and then also the way the neck is set into the instrument is very different on the violin. Do you like my new violin? I'm just working on it at the moment. It's nearly finished. It's been a little while, so the timber is actually beautiful. Like it's looking really beautiful. It's it's already slightly aged, so uh, it's gonna it's gonna have a really beautiful color when I'm finished. Like it's gonna have some of that aged look, which is really exciting. So the instrument's actually seasoned. Like the timber's actually seasoned for a really long time. Anyway, uh, now you know the difference between a violin maker, guitar maker, and a luthier. So a luthier can be either a guitar maker or a violin maker, or even a lute maker, whereas a violin maker is a violin maker. Makes violins, violas, cellos, and double basses. Anyway, if you like my videos, hit the like button, make sure you hit the subscribe button, and also subscribe to my seven essentials if you want to really know how to choose a good instrument the seven essentials can really help you i wrote it to help string players out anyway it's always nice talking to you guys have a wonderful day evening night keep making beautiful music keep playing your instruments and see you later guys